Welcome to another video demonstration from Phaser Lab. Previously, we demonstrated the positioning capabilities of our hypersynchronized network, or HSN, on a soccer field. In this video, we present our results from an evaluation of PNT systems as potential GPS backups hosted by the Department of Transportation at Joint Base Cape Cod, Massachusetts, in March 2020. We deployed 14 masts, like this one, around the square kilometre test site for our reference nodes, which self-organised to form a synchronised mesh network, as shown by this real-time status display at our master node. The Department of Transportation's RTK GPS system provided the reference against which HSN positioning was compared. Our static timing data was collected at this test bench over a continuous 72-hour period and was initially concurrent with the shorter duration positioning tests. The ability of HSN to distribute time was analyzed by comparing the pulse per second output of one of the nodes in the network with the reference, which in this case was a cesium atomic clock. This vehicle housed one of our UE nodes for ground level positioning and recorded HSN data for comparison with high precision GPS. In this demonstration, our HSN provided PNT services at the UE, as well as being able to distribute multiple mobile nodes locations across the network for real-time display. The ground level test route included off-road sections with figure of eight and trefoil patterns. Clarity with which we were able to capture those patterns indicates that our system is delivering submeter positioning accuracy. Our goal in this exercise was to demonstrate the positioning of HSN technology alone without additional sensors. We purposefully excluded any extra devices such as IMUs, compasses, or barometers, although these will be available to enhance HSN performance in a deployment scenario as necessary. We used the Taro X6 UAV for the three-dimensional testing with our mobile node mounted on the bottom of the drone and the GPS RTK reference system on the top. Static ground level and near ground positioning was conducted in addition to the dynamic flying tests. The first flight pattern was a three-dimensional trefoil or petal shape. The drone flew this shape at 50 feet above ground level and then ascended to 350 feet where it repeated the pattern. HSN was able to accurately capture this as shown by the clarity of this output trace in Google Earth. The descent involved hovers at intervals of 50 feet the second flight was a trapezoid pattern covering a larger area and repeated at altitudes of 100, 200 and 300 feet above ground. If you would be interested in finding out how HSN can provide you with an alternative to or backup for GPS, please contact us and stay tuned for more video demonstrations from Phaser Lab. Thank you for watching.